shown this thing in a while. Look at how this pothos is just taken off. Um, yeah, and the creeping Jenny I got from Holly. Amazing, water lettuce amazing. What's not amazing is I have flukes back. I thought I was still fighting Costia um, from the Coast Gem Imports. And I finally got around to uncovering my microscope and scraped um, some reddened areas and the flukes are back. The only thing I can think, look at that giant, my giant Rhinucan rescue. The only thing I can think is the flukes are able to survive on snails because I dipped each fish individually every other day for seven days and everybody was clear for like two or three months after I scraped and scraped and then I got contaminated with, I know, Costia by Coast Gem. And I was scraping her and then still not seeing flukes. So they must have been killed off and hanging out on the snails and then slowly reinfested because none of the fish showed any flukes for months. So I'm going to have to go a new route and very carefully try flushing the tank with peroxide. Uh, I'm not really sure on my dosing on that. I know two mils, you can leave it in for killing off algae, but I'm trying to kill off flukes. And so I'm going to be flushing all of the tanks every other day for seven days. I did scrape a couple guppies in that in the tropical area, which everybody has separate quarantine separate plants, separate water changes, and uh, which is not easy, by the way, to scrape guppies. Not easy. But I didn't find anything. No one's been acting like they have flukes, had no issues uh, there, so I don't believe it's contaminated into the tropical one. Um, but yeah, so not the best start to the week but it is what it is so everybody's going outdoors hopefully over the next week and uh, getting flushed and uh, PP dipped in between that and then hopefully I'll be over this crap